Rebecca Rabbit. It is the end of another lovely day. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing with their friends, Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Home time, my little bunnies. Oh, but we want to play some more, Mummy. Maybe tomorrow. Can Peppa and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. Why? We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs? That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. Mummy Pig can drive and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> we won't get lost. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Peppa and George are very excited. They have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca! Do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Peppa cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. Come in. <laughs> we don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow. Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow. You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbits? Yes, please. <coughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak, like this. <coughs> squeak, squeak! <coughs> squeak, squeak! <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. <coughs> Delicious! Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck! George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well. More for us, then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, rabbits. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak. Oh, you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite, carrots. Delicious. Delicious. Yuck. George will not eat carrots. Oh, dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Squeak, squeak. Mmm. Wow, George is eating a carrot. <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm, carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. <laughs> Not very well. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have just made breakfast for Pepper and George. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> Peppa has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Peppa, you don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. 
Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Pepper is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm. Put Pepper to bed, and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Eww! Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get off now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. Oh, but it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. Can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Pepper's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. Hello, Mrs. Pig. May Pepper talk with Susie, please? Hello, Susie. Meh. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Pepper. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Pepper. Pepper. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <coughs> you could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Pepper seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Daddy? <coughs> Ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. And Rebecca, could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, oh, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Flying <laughs> on holiday. Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. Oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? 
here. We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! Ah, that's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. This is the airport. Goodbye! Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes, I'm afraid... This one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. Is the x-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Pepper? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> We need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Brim, brim. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brim, brim, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh! Teddy! I left Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy! Uh... Oh, dear! It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. 
Peppa and her family have arrived at their holiday house. What have you got in this bag, Mummy Pig? It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tinned food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <sniffs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. <sighs> Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Papa Pig. <laughs>